Hello friends and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork in the road and today I'm gonna answer the question so many of you have been asking where is my Tenere 700? I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet writing buddy so please consider subscribing. I sat out yesterday on a very long ride on the Tenere 700. I actually filmed three videos. I got home and my Osmo Action 3 failed me yet again and I have no audio in any of those. So, I'm going to narrate this video while I share some of the footage of me taking my Tenere on some ATV trails and out to some cool overlooks and up in the snow yesterday and answer the question that a lot of you have been asking, where has the Tenere been? I had a lot of plans when I got this motorcycle, you guys know that. I promised you lots of content. I had this whole great idea that I was going to do the Tenere versus the Norden and the winner goes on the Wobder and we sort of did that but not to the degree that I intended. And that is in large part because this summer got away from me in a lot of ways. So let me take you back to April. Trust me, this is all relevant. So in April, I got the Tenere, uh, I got the Norden within a week of each other, and then almost immediately, less than a week later, I set off for California for the Get On ADV Fest. I came back from the Get On ADV Fest, had COVID, was out for two weeks. Ten days, two weeks, something like that. Immediately after that, I had my vasectomy surgery, so I was off the bike for another week. Got done with that, got a little bit of content done, and then promptly we took off for giant loop ride and then there was the dual sport summer opener and then there was Touratech rally west and then the next thing i knew i was off on the wobder and that was a great trip I got back from the Wobder and went on an anniversary trip with my wife to Mexico for a week. And when we got back from that, we immediately fell into moving. So we were not planning on moving this year, but this house came up. We had to jump on it. So I was actually signing paperwork on the Wobder. And then we were emailing and doing a bunch of stuff while we were in Mexico. And then I got back from Mexico. My wife broke her foot. So she tripped and fell on like the first load we were loading. Broke her foot. So I was moving basically by myself, the kid and I. The whole month of August got taken up with moving. I had to cancel my Colorado BDR trip because of all of that and then at the end of August I started doing those ride training expeditions so those were awesome but they did take up a lot of time and then I got back from those one of which I actually took the Tenere on but I didn't want to make the same video three times in a row so I didn't film it. So a lot of you were like you're not even riding it. I totally was I just wasn't filming every single ride that I went on. But I got back from that and then our buddy Andrew Vanash asked if he could borrow the Tenere because he is prototyping some parts because all of you asked after the videos at his shop if he was going to start making stuff for other bikes. So he's branching out as a result of all that feedback that he got, but he had the Tenere for almost a month. So I just got it back last week, and the first thing I did was get out on the ride I went on yesterday that you're seeing footage of right now. So it's super funny the speculation people get up to, like uh, all this, you hate the Tenere and you already sold it and you're clearly favoring one bike over the other. And, and some of the reasons for these things are not what you think. Like why was the Norden in the Ride Adventures video? Well, the explanation is simple. Uh, Tyler had never ridden one. They have a fleet of Tenere's, but Tyler had never ridden a Norden and he said he wanted to ride it. So I took it on the first trip, uh, the one that I thought was going to be the only one before we set up the others, so that he could try it out. It wasn't because I love one more than the other a lot or anything like that. So I just one want to say thank you to all of you who were excited, who were supportive, who were asking in a supportive, excited way where this bike has been. And I want to say no thank you to those of you who are all weird and entitled about it. I'm doing my best, trust me. This was a very busy summer. It is a miracle, if I'm being honest, considering everything that was going on behind the scenes, that I got two videos a week out. I never missed a single one. So I'm pretty happy with that. And just know that the Tenere content is coming. I had all these grand plans. I was going to do all this side-by-side -side content with the Norden. Believe me, nobody wanted to make that content more than I did. It just didn't happen. So, review video coming soon, a full mods video coming soon, and more writing content coming soon. I hope I just gotta get this audio situation figured out with this stupid Osmo Action 3, which was supposed to be the savior. It's supposed to save me from the world of GoPro, but it's not going to if I don't have audio. So I just wanted to make this quick video to reassure you that I still have the Tenere. I love the Tenere. I'm excited to make content on the Tenere, and you're gonna see Tenere content coming very, very soon. 
So let me know in the comments, what kind of content do you want to see? Obviously, I'm going to do the Norden versus Tenere video. There's been some requests for a Tenere versus Africa Twin video, Tenere versus KLR, and I can do that based on what I remember about the bikes. I just, it's harder when I don't have them with me at the moment, but I can definitely share my thoughts. It just isn't going to be as in-depth as if I could ride them back to back like I can with the Norden and the Tenere. But anyway, thank you all for your support. Sincerely, I appreciate you, and I'm so glad that people get so invested in the bikes I buy, and they want to know more about them, and I'm, I'm happy and eager and excited to, pro to provide that content for you. Just sometimes life gets in the way, and you know, I appreciate those of you who understand that. I'm lucky that I get to do this for a job, but sometimes I overcommit, and sometimes things happen, and yeah, that's where we've been. So anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I hope that answered some of your questions. If not, leave them in the comments. Uh, but for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Uh, thank you. Excellent!